the chairman of the trustees of Nature PG, Warangate TVT, Ambassador Robin Hero. Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, and Heads of Missions, Commission, Madam Ambassador. Our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Misambul Naka, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, and a very good evening to you all. I'm deeply honored to join you all to launch the 2017 calendar for Nature Fiji Marine Activity. In doing so, I also wish to reaffirm the Fiji government's commitment to safeguard as best as we can our natural environment, the ecosystem, and our flora and fauna for both the immediate and the long-term future. The government, as many of you are aware, is investing significantly on sustainable development through the Green Growth Policy Framework, among other major initiatives, including playing a leading role in promoting climate change concerns at the International Forum. The most recent event was only two weeks ago when the Honorable Prime Minister attended and addressed the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly. Fiji now chairs the Assembly. It is a period to remember in world history as this is the first time for a small island development state to be voted in and given the opportunity to lead the United Nations with close to 200 member states. More importantly, the agenda that we help set and drive will determine the legacy we leave behind at both the international forum and here in our part of the world. Fiji's agenda is primarily focused on sustainable development with climate change being a principal concern. Essentially, what this means for us tonight is that the work of organizations like Nature Fiji, Marangeti Viti, would become more critical than ever. I have every confidence that government would want to work with organizations like yours to help maintain the required balance in our ecosystem and ultimately achieve the aim of sustainable development for our people and our natural environment now and well into the future. I'm aware that the focus on a balanced ecosystem was given a formal platform some 31 years ago, when in 1985 the United Nations designated the first Monday of October every year as World Habitat Day. The idea behind this initiative is to reflect on the state of our towns, cities, and the basic right of all to adequate shelter, and is intended to remind the world of its collective responsibility for the future of the human habitat. I'm also very pleased to highlight tonight that Fiji's 2013 constitution captures the essence of such right among others under the Bill of Rights. History has it that our ancestors arrived on the shores of these beautiful islands thousands of years ago. Before their arrival, there were plants and animals that lived here for thousands of years more and with whom they have learned to coexist. Many of these creatures and their habitats remain unknown to us, and yet we know that without their presence and the work that they do, we would not be able to inhabit our beautiful islands. Today, in recognition of the role that nature plays in sustaining us as human beings, I am reminded of the quote in 1952 by the Nobel Prize winner, theologian, organist, the philosopher, and physician, the Albert Schweizer, who said, and I quote, the deeper we look into nature, the more we recognize that it is full of life. Unquote. How true. Fiji is home to one of the rarest mammals in the world. The Mbeka Mirimiri, an ancient plant whose ancestry dates back to the time of the dinosaurs. And Rautamboa, and wonderful and colorful birds which inhabit our gardens and our forests, reminding us that we are indeed part of a universe of wonder and beauty. The future of the human habitat depends on how well we look after the habitats of Fiji's first inhabitants, the plants and the animals. The government of Fiji also takes the human habitat requirement seriously and considers it 
an obligation to respond effectively through its various agencies to implement the various programs that promote access to decent, secure, and sustainable home ownership for all citizens of this country. A significant component of this is to ensure that unremitting programs are being developed and established to also help preserve species and biodiversity. Since its inception in 2007, Fiji's only local membership-based organization, Nature Fiji, Marangitibiti, has persevered to showcase to the nation and to every citizen that Fiji's landscapes and wildlife are worthy of our attention or and conservation action. This year marks the sixth publication of the organization's annual calendars. The images that these calendars have displayed over the years have showcased some of Fiji's rarest and most beautiful landscapes and wildlife. Places and wildlife that many of us have never seen and probably would not have known about if they had not been displayed so beautifully in the calendars. Today, as we reflect on how to make our homes, villages, towns, and cities healthy, safe, just, and sustainable, I urge you to take a good look at the photographs of the very creatures and the landscapes that sustain us. The Reserve Bank of Fiji, in recognition of the value and uniqueness of Fiji's flora and fauna, has featured plants and animals in Fiji's banknotes and coins since 2012. Our $100 bill features the nanai, an insect that spends the first eight years of its life underground as a grub, before emerging and leaving above ground no more than a few weeks, only to reproduce and then die. The nanai belongs to a group of insects called the chikada, of which Fiji has the richest fauna in the Southwest Pacific and with 19 different species, all endemic, found only in Fiji and nowhere else in the world. The eight-year cycle of the Nanai has been proven with the emergences every eight years since 1985. The last emergence was in 2009. And photographs and videos of this emergence were captured on camera in the month of September of the year. The same insect is featured in the 2017 calendar's month of September to remind us that 2017 is the year of the Nanai and to expect them to emerge synchronously in millions from the, the ground. Each and every photograph has a story, and we are indeed fortunate to be able to capture these images and to tell their stories so that the knowledge and the significance of Fiji's wild places and wildlife are passed on to our next generation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored that tonight we also get to meet the photographers who captured these images. John and Nicola, for example, had to walk through the forest, crossing a creek 30 times, beginning his hike at about 7 p.m. and reaching the village at 3 a.m. in the morning, just to capture this photograph of Tananai. Well done, Johnny. Now, well done. Matai Nandroha. Photography is like painting. He is not a professional photographer, but his passion and eye for quality has gotten three of his photographs featured in the 2016 calendar and one in the 2017 calendar. All the photographs featured here have been donated by the photographers. Now I am. It is therefore my pleasure to launch the Nature Fiji Marangeti Viti 2017 Amazing Fiji Wildlife and Wild Places Calendar. May I also remind you to reflect on the meaning of World Habitat Day and urge you to look into nature and recognize that it does or what it does for our well-being. I also wish to commend and congratulate Nature Fiji Marangeti Viti for the good work it is doing in enhancing biodiversity and habitat conserv conservation, endangered species protection, and sustainable use of natural resources for the benefit of communities and the Fijian people. I wish to wish you well in your work. Navalevu Danavad Sukriya, thank you and God bless you.